Hey everybody, welcome to episode 3 of Days Gone. If you've been enjoying the first two episodes, please go down and like this video. And while you're at it, click the subscribe button. It would mean the world to me if you do. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this episode. Drifters coming in my camp, killing folk like we were out there. What's going on, Cope? A man come in, drug out of his mind, shot the place up, then he just took off. Then he said his bike's got a red tank on it, and he was wearing some kind of a motocross helmet, silver. Okay, if I go now, I might be able to catch up to him. I want him alive, Deke. Alive? Alive. You catch this man, then radio me. Fetch him. We start showing these drifter sons of We have law and order in this camp. No offense meant to yourself. I'm taken. I'll find him. Hey, D, you there? I was thinking about heading down to that logging camp. Throughout those days. I see more freaks in here. Who's your... No! No, you're gonna get yourself killed. Uh, you gotta wait till you're whole, brother. Uh, I'm over here anyway, so I'll take care of this. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Steve. I need to wait till tonight. You go freaks inside those houses. Or take my wild still light out. Be more of them. Be strong. Hide the stash, Leon. All right, what have we got? Uh, maybe in one of these. <laughs> got it. I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. Man, are you listening? Uh, well, you're not gonna believe this. I just saw a chopper. A chopper? What are you talking about? A Nero chopper! It just bumped right over me and acted like I wasn't even there. Oh, All this time in a fed chopper shows up out of nowhere? Yeah, I'm gonna chase him down and I'm, uh, uh, I'm gonna see what the hell they're doing. Be careful. Do anything stupid. Oh no, I'm not gonna do anything stupid. Hold on, hold on, they're slowing down. 
Looks like they're stopping. See what they're doing. All right, gotta go in quiet. If they see me, I'm dead. I'm getting hungry. Time now. Throw a rock. That ought to distract them. I heard something. Site 23 on the roster for tomorrow. That us? No, that's O'Brien. Got it. <laughs> was I? We have confirmed the subject's hibernation location at the High Desert Grotto, now designated Site 15. Trampling of grasses and plants at the entrance and the presence of footprints, see attached photos, indicate the site has been used for some time. Must be nice and cozy in there. According to the motion sensor planted by Lieutenant O'Brien, Approximately 447 subjects have entered the cave this morning. Recommend sending a follow-up team sometime after 1900 hours to assess the cave's interior and further assess conditions. Now to Dr. Anderson. Your theory about the subjects devolving to a primitive state of nocturnal behavior is seeming more appealing all the time. End report. Didn't you hear me? Over 400 subjects. And these aren't just your regular run-of-the-mill freaks. These are stage three. Sleeping like babies, sir. And I asked if you were going in. Can't, can't be. Didn't say I was. And these subjects are not sleeping. They're hibernating. Ever woken up a hibernating bear? No. Ever woken up a hibernating freak? Yeah, actually. I was one of the survivors at the White King mine. Jesus. So I tear my buddy apart like he was peeling a banana. These suits protect you from a lot. But not them. Jesus, I'm... I'm sorry. That mission was too far from the start. Which is why we are not going inside there. I think if I sealed up this cave, we'd, I don't know, knock down their population. I don't know, Corporal. A lot of caves out here. Come on, let's get out of here. Secret caves. Yeah, right. Like anyone gives it. You got the time? Doesn't matter. Okay, stay low, stay low.
there. Booze man, come back. Deep. Hey, I'm here. I go to the farewell. Nero, a soldier. Took Sarah. What, what are you? He had an ID badge. What was the name? Oh, God, O'Brien. No, he wouldn't shut up about it. All the way out to Three Finger Jack. Okay, he's alive, Boozer. He's alive. What are you talking about? We were there. The whole camp was wiped out. No, I know that, but I heard. Okay, look. I went into their LZ. And they. Wait, wait. You, you went into their LZ? Listen, on the radio, talking about a man named O'Brien. Nick, don't. Not, Boozer, I'm not. I'm just... Hey, uh, get some sleep. Hey, get out. Who's man? No. You know I wouldn't ride north of that. Yeah, yeah, I know. I just kind of out of it. Oh, well, third degree burns will do that to you. Hey, man. So, take care of Alvarez, you know. Dink. Means a lot to me. Take care of her, loser. Just get some rest. Deacon out. Mass grave. Why'd they bury the out here again? Oh, yeah, because they're... and tents because they couldn't afford the American dream. Some of those good people fought for this very country. Only to have the feds forget about them as soon as they were done with them. PTSD doesn't stand for post-traumatic stress disorder. It stands for put them soldiers down. Well, we're all homeless now. Living in the wilderness in the way of our forebearers. The feds used to think we needed their welfare and handouts to survive. We showed them how wrong they were. What we need now is a strong will, determination, and trust in each other. That should do it. The feds were never gonna give us that. And you? You want our trust? You gotta earn it. This is Mark Copeland for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Oh, another Nero site. Well, wonder if there's anything in that MMU. <clears throat> Fuel. <sighs> Needed this. <laughs> Good. Fuse blown. <laughs> Should be it. Wait, no, not this way. Could make something out of this. Feels, yes.
in business. I'll let you do it. Tucker, Alki. Over at the dig site. Well, which one? The north one. Back there. If anybody touches this bike or anything on it, I break your fingers. Whatever, man. Jesus. Yeah? What do you need? I keep telling you. Everywhere you look, it's all one giant lava field. 25 feet solid rock. It'll take jackhammers to... I don't need a lecture. I get it. No, you don't. But these people are hungry. Even if they had all their strength. It'll take them months to finish this job with picks and shovels. I don't give a... We're all hungry, Al. But this job's gotta get done whether it takes all year. It's not like we got somewhere else to be now, do we? Wait. Not finished. We'll make it quick, will ya, Al? I got things to do. Rippers. This morning, one of my men spotted a large group of them coming over the pass. And no one stopped them? How the f... Tucker, you know we're already spread thin. Are, are they headed north? Al, are they headed towards us? Yes or no? I... I don't know. Maybe he knows. What are you up to now, huh? What's this about, huh? Alki, it's not his job to know. It's your job to know. I can't be at two places at one time. You're the one me here, running your dig. Or you want me out there and chasing the rippers? Go check the store. See how much ammo we got left. I'll tell Wheeler to watch the dig. What are you looking at? I don't know. I'm just waiting for you to smarten the f up. Don't. Did you track down Leon? Good thing someone around here knows how to make things happen. Ride with me. How long's it been since you found someone brought him in? The kind of people left out in the aren't the kind of people you want me bringing in. 
We lost two more to the fever. It's not my problem. You want our food? I'm making it your problem. I told you we'll do runs for you, but we're not joining your camp. Remind me again, my old woman's memory. Why is that? Because it's a waste of time, Tuck. <laughs> well, aren't you the optimist? Where's Boozer? He said he was gonna head over to Copeland's camp, see about trading for some fish. You're not in bed with Cope now, are you? His camp near yours? It's not closer or further. Look, I'm not Boozer's old lady. He goes where he wants. <laughs> Jesus. You keep burning all day and night. Got a lot of freak corpses piling up out here. With men like you doing your jobs. Right, we keep burning. Try using more gasoline. It burns faster, less fumes. Like we got so much to spare? When it's all gone, what are you gonna put in that bike of yours? Spit and sweat? Now what the f is going on here? The count's off. Storage is missing food and some ammo. Jesus. Who was on watch last night? Wheeler. Tonight, double the watch. It's starting to p me off. You got it. Trouble in paradise. It's like I was saying. Camp's like a prison. Bunch of lazy liars, thieves, rapists, and murderers. You know why that is? No idea. Because that's who we are. The freak show. Only folks survived were those mean enough, nasty enough to out-freak the freaks. The rest are here. Hoping I feed them, protect them, keep them nice and cozy and warm, so they can sit on their asses and watch the world end. You! Get your back to work! Don't make me go get Cyrus! Lazy s***. Can screw around all they like on their time. Daytime is my time. Running this camp is no different than running a prison. I can't remember what you said. You were, you were what? You were a warden or something? <laughs> Nothing so high and mighty. I was matron of the women's ward. You look like the sort who might have spent some time in the pen, back in the day. You ever do time? I had my share of trouble, but I never landed in K-State. I got a job for you. Larson was on a run yesterday. Passed through Marion Forks, said he saw someone. Young woman looked like, but he only caught a glance. He stopped to look around, but he never found her. Is he sure? Larson's been doing this long as you. He knows a person from a freak. But you got a knack for this. You head over there and find her before the freaks do. I'll see what I can do. But look, Tuck, I want the rest of my credits for Leon. You bring me warm bodies, I'll give you all the credits you can spend. I gotta go find Wheeler. Someone's looking at a night in the shack. Alcott. What do you want, Drifter? What's your problem? Hmm? One of my men, a escaped to Ripper Camp, over by Iron Butte. Got tortured, like they always do. But this time, they kept asking me if he knew about it. Two bikers, two men, asking me if he'd ever seen them or heard of them. A lot of bikes around here. What's it, what's it got to do with me? The Ripper called them mongrels. How many drifters still flying colors around here? As if that matters. If you ask me, you got a price on your head. How's it feel to be on the other side? Now, why don't you just show me what you got, because I don't have time for your... Whatever you say, Deke. What else can I do for you? Can I get anything else for you? Okay, sure. Get back to work. Hey, back to work. Now I just gotta figure out who I'm gonna give this to. We can't head north until I get better gear. Tucker it is. Hey, Tuck. You get my drugs from Leon? Yeah. 
Yeah, Cope wanted me to sell to him, but uh, I know who my friends are. Huh. You got that right. Go see Alkai. I heard Larson brought in a stash of shotguns and rifles. Maybe he's got something you can use. Can I help you? Uh, just having a look. There you go. See ya. It's your bike, right? Okay. like that. Huh? Come on, you son of
looks like the kind of place you want to call home, yeah? What you all yourself at once? Jesus Christ! Oh, freaks! What the hell are you doing in here? Huh? Oh, this place is a death trap. <laughs> Getting kind of cold out here. Thought I'd help you out. <laughs> It'll warm you up. Is that the last of them? Boozer, it's done. I cleared those nests. Should be less freaks on the mountain. Uh, it wasn't too bad. That's why I wanted to take him out while it's dark out. Some of them were strong as hell, though. Yeah. Cold makes him stronger. Yeah, yeah, but we can do that. Damn, sniper ambush. Not now!
That's it. Tell you something. Hey, it's okay. It's just my arm. You told me that we shouldn't come back, and I didn't listen to you. I mean, I knew that it was getting worse, but I. None of us knew it was gonna blow up like this. this fast. You don't understand. I don't know what I would do if I lost you. This is my fault. Hey, I'm not losing anyone. I made a promise. Remember? Deacon, wait. Sarah, come on. There's a kid here. Hey. Come on, we gotta find your parents, okay? Here we go. Come on. Oh, stabbed me. Oh, hell. Oh, hell. Uh, um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's that bad. Okay, look. Okay. Just hold this here as long as you can. You run? I don't think so. I think I can walk. Okay, good enough. Almost there. <laughs> Two hours ago, this place was calling the feds. Yeah, they must have evacuated. Yeah, 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 they must have bugged the <laughs> Yeah, she's burning up. The uh, knife must have nicked her kidney or something. She's turned into something. <laughs> How you doing, little sister? So stupid. It was this little... This little kid. This... Little kid. The hey, help me. Mm. Oh. Mm. Your mom. You don't want to be able to come through? We gotta get to the roof. Flag down one of those choppers. Mm. Yeah, see if you can rest over here. Hey. Mm. Easy, easy. She reminded me so much of my little sister, you know? Mm. She used to play that hide and seek game all the time. And she would just, just uh, hide her head in her coat just like that. Um. I've been cutting my name, but nothing like that. She's burning up. Jesus. Look at him. We gotta move. We're going that way. Uh, 
Ace, come on. All right, Ace, we are. Can you move? Who's her? Yeah, I got her. Go find this way out. It's nothing, it's nothing, Coco. I got this, go! Hold on, don't shoot! Just... Oh! Yeah, we see you got guns, guys. Stop shooting! Sir? Hey, 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 I'm unarmed! I'm unarmed! Get out! Now listen to me, listen to me! My girl's out there, she's been stabbed. We're just trying to get to the roof. Get out There's a helicopter you killed her! So listen, you killed just... my wife! Look, I, I didn't know anything about your wife being killed. I am sorry, sir. No, sir. Do you need to do it? 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 Do you need to do We need help. She's been wounded. What's wrong with her? Well, she's not. Whatever the hell is going on out there, she's been stabbed. I can't take anymore. Oh, okay. Listen, O'Brien. If we don't get her to a hospital, she's going to die. There are no more hospitals. Oh, come on. No more hospitals. You got uh, doctors, you got triage, you got a mass unit. Oh, look, I'm just a grad student, okay? I, I got volunteered for this. I'm not even supposed to be out here, okay? Brian. Okay. I've only got room for two of you, okay? Two. We only got room for two of you. We're overweight, okay? I can only take two of you, two. <laughs> come on, help me, come on. All right, sweetheart. That's okay. You're gonna be all right. I got her. I'm gonna be right back. Okay, Boozer, let's go. We gotta hold get on, on that. Hold on. We gotta get oh, on that chopper. I heard what he said. There's only room for two on that chopper. Go. Go with her. I'll be okay. Look, I've been through this before. You know? Can't we have? Where are you going? What? Where? Where? Refugee camp, west of Three Finger Jack. No. Boozer is never gonna make it without me. I want this back. You coming? Deke! 